Dear friends of GlobeEthics.net, receive greetings from the head office here in Geneva, and we think about all of you, our consortium of universities, the teachers, the institutions, the students, and the professionals. We think about those on our network who read regularly our newsletters. We greet our pool of experts and all those associated with making ethics a way of life. We celebrate Christmas, and we're on the eve of another dawn, a new year. This message goes out to all of us that year 2020 was a very unusual year. It was the year that COVID-19 triggered off unpalatable disruptions in the entire global system on politics, on the economy, on society, on ways of life for people, on families. But the worst has been those whom we have had to bury and the sick whose numbers continue to increase. May the dead rest in peace. We had an occasion sometime in human history. It was the Second World War and there were ashes from that war. Dear friends around the world, imagine this that from the ashes of the Second World War, humanity did not give up on hope. The Second World War gave rise to the foundation of the United Nations, the beginnings of the European Union, the decolonization of countries that were hitherto colonized by others. The Second World War unleashed a new world during which international cooperation, more brotherly love, mutual respect, and the equality of all human beings could be recognized. We have not reached there yet, but we are on the move. What will be lessons from COVID-19? Our Christmas message this year is that undoubtedly life must be different from now on. There are clamors that from the COVID-19 pandemia, a new humanity, a new dawn, for all peoples emerge. Just as the Marshall Plan gave the world in the post-war era a new time. We are looking for a world where mutual respect, where people can reach out to one another, where international solidarity is a way of life, where respect for creation, for the things that are beyond and within and below, are given their proper scope and space. We need to recognize much more our interdependence and our common human destiny and dignity. This is very, very key. That we as humans are all called to live in peace and to give others peace. We are invited to learn gratitude for the simple things of life and to appreciate one another much more. Think about families spending much more time during these days when we walked more from home, the home office, than from having to travel every day and unleash big traffic footprints in our ecosystem. COVID-19 is an opportunity which we must not allow to go. We are feeling, trying to reduce unnecessary carbon footprints, improve on the neighborhood, improve on community. Our message is a message of hope. Just like the message of Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago was that of love and faith and hope in a humanity which is built and founded on the eternal triune. May this Christmas season be for all of us, all your families, a time for renewal, a time for redemption. And the new year, a time for a new normal with ethics as a way of life. Happy New Year and blessed Christmas. <laughs>